Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. I have not put out a video on Poshmark for a while. And many of you do not know that you can sell more than just clothing on Poshmark. I sell a lot of hard goods over there. So we're going to get started here and I'm going to tell you what I sold on Poshmark. The first item I sold might be a little unexpected if you think that Poshmark is only clothing. I sold a stuffed animal. It is a Tyco Baby Baby Farm Babies Sheep Lamb Plush Squeak Toy. Look how cute this little guy is. I picked this up at a garage sale. I want to say I paid 50 cents or a buck for it. I did not pay much for it at all. Not I did not pay much for it at all. Here is the tag. Um, you guys have heard of other ones like the kittens and stuff like that. I have never, ever seen a baby, baby farm babies. And when I found this, I was really, really excited thinking that it was going to go for big money and sell super fast. Now, it sold for $60 and the buyer paid shipping. However, it did take a little while to sell, but it is just as cute as can be. And this one is a squeak toy. So it's not like the kitten where it purrs. So this one is a little bit different. The next item are these castaway pants. So this is a really, really old listing. How do I know that? Because I was still laying items on my carpet. I no longer lay items on my carpet. Um, and if I do, I will use a background remover, but I really don't do a whole lot of clothing anymore. So I'm using like a light box and then a background remover. So these are castaway pants. I have had these listed for a very long time. We're talking, let's see. I'm trying to think if this was, I, I don't know, I would say over five years, but I probably paid three bucks for them at a discount store. I want to say these came from Gabriel Brothers, which is now Gabe's, and I sold these for $19 plus shipping. So I still made a really nice profit, which is why I often say that I list it and forget it because everything eventually sells. The next item are these Safari L. TD limited zoo animal toy figures. And this is a lot of zoo animals. And you can see I whited out the background, but on the other ones, I did not. I'm using a light box. And I do like to put measurements, and this is how I do that. I sold these for $19 and the buyer paid shipping. So the buyer pays the shipping on Poshmark. I do have seller discounts where you get 10% off two or more. So if people bundle, they get an automatic 10% off. You can set this up in your settings on Poshmark. The most um, people pay on Poshmark is $7.97. That's for expedited priority mail shipping. So because it is priority mail shipping, you cannot list things that are flammable like... Um, perfume, for example, nail polish. So those are some things that you cannot list on Poshmark. For a full list, you can go to their help page and check that out. But definitely do that because there are items that are restricted from being sold on Poshmark. These are tag books and they are sealed. I sold these for $20. Uh, I got these at a garage sale. So it was before we all went on lockdown the summer before, I think. And I had this tote sitting in my storage, my money pile, we'll say. And I wasn't listing these things. And then everybody got locked down. And I was like, I am going to get out those educational tools and I'm going to list them now. And I will tell you that the leapfrog, the tag books, all of those things were like selling like crazy during that time frame. These, however, did not sell during that time frame. I uh, just recently sold these in November and I sold these for $20 plus shipping. Now, these items, they're not flying out of my store like they used to, but I don't have as many listed because they all sold during the lockdown. This is a leather photo album, Barnes and Noble. This is an item that is heavier. And a lot of times if I pick up photo albums like this, I will not put them on eBay. I will only put them on Poshmark because it just financially doesn't make sense for somebody to maybe buy this on at my price point. So let's say I had this on eBay for 15. It's a heavy item. If somebody lives far away from me, it's going to cost them a lot to ship it on eBay. Whereas on Poshmark, they're only going to pay the 
$7.97. So to me, this is a great Poshmark item. It retails for $34.95. Really nice piece. I want to say I got this at the Goodwill bins, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I did not did not track where I got that one. So I apologize. I think it was the bins. $15 on that. These are the TY Beanie Babies Christmas Happy Holidays Bears. And these took a long time to sell. Beanie Babies, they're not hot sellers for me. I don't really source them unless they're certain ones. I do have a video on Beanie Babies that sell for big money. You guys can check that out. Put in TY Bolo Buddies into the search bar on YouTube and it'll pull it up. I did sell these for $14. I don't remember where I got them. I'm guessing it was probably like a throw-in with a bulk buy or something like that because this is not typically something that I source. This is an informals flannel back vinyl tablecloth. I sold this for $20. This is a um, Thanksgiving pattern. Thanksgiving would have been, um, it looks like I put fall Halloween. I think Thanksgiving would have been a better <laughs> keyword. I may have sold this quicker had I used the word Thanksgiving. I don't know why I used the word Halloween, but I did. Uh, some of these old tablecloths can definitely be a bolo, especially the Christmas ones. Yarn. This is vintage palm fret Christmas green spot yarn lot, uh, yarns Brunswick. And I sold this for $31. So this may be a harder to find color. Uh, it's discontinued, it's vintage, and I sold it for $31. And the buyer paid shipping. Uno Dare, if I remember correctly, I got this out of the Goodwill bins, which is where you buy by pound. I've got a whole bunch of videos on uh, me digging through the bins. Definitely check those out. They're a lot of fun. Check out the one that says Bolo Buddies Thousands. Put that into the search bar and you will see something that I found at the Goodwill bins that I will make thousands of dollars on. It was an incredible find. One of my best finds ever from the Goodwill bins. I sold this Uno Dare game for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. This is just a Superman cape and mask. I sold this for $10. Uh, Express skirt. Uh, this is one of those that I bought at Gabriel, or wait, no, wait, I'm sorry. This one was Discount Fashion Warehouse. I bought a whole bunch of clothing from there. I used to shop there on a regular basis. Um, I know they're in Ohio. I think there's a few other states that have them. It is a great place to source. They used to have this color tag system and the colors would get marked down based on the color. It was great. And then they changed the system. I don't know how they're selling things now. I don't really sell clothing anymore. This did take a while to sell. And I have totes upon totes of new old stock, um, new without tags and new with tags items. I kind of just quit clothing and moved to hard goods. So a lot of the clothing items you will see are items that have been listed a long time, but I still sold it for $20. So definitely, definitely, can you make money on items that have been listed for a long time? Yes. And that's another thing that's great about cross-posting. So my main platform, I would say, is eBay. 100% it's eBay. And then I cross-post using List Perfectly to Poshmark, Mercari, and I just started back up on Etsy. If you guys are not cross-posting, I definitely, definitely highly recommend it. Uh, different people are on different platforms and you're gonna get different eyes. Like I shop on the platforms that I sell on. I don't go over to Depop, I don't go over to Grailed. If I sold on those platforms, I probably would shop on them. I know that, uh, I shop on all three platforms, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I don't shop a lot on Etsy, but my husband does. So um, yeah, I, I just think that also people that sell on Poshmark and Mercari are using their money that they make from selling on the platform to buy on the platform as a credit. So you may be missing out on buyers if you're not cross-posting. Again, I use List Perfectly. There is a demo video. I have a whole tutorial where I show you how to use the catalog, how to not use the catalog, just different ways of using List Perfectly. And then if you watch that video and you think it's a good fit, you can use my referral code, which is Bolo Buddies, to get 30% off your first month. So check that out. That's down below in the description. This is a Victoria's Secret Brawl. This was another thing that I bought at the Discount Fashion Warehouse. I bought tons and tons of these. 
Uh, in the beginning, it was fantastic. Then they changed their business model. It got harder to pick things up at a cheaper price. Um, and then I switched to hard goods. So I really don't know how they're selling things now. But if you are um, in one of the states that has Discount Fashion Warehouse, look it up, Google it. It may be a good place for you guys to find some clothing. Sold this for $21 um, and the buyer paid shipping. Here are another Express Pants. These also came from that store. I've had them listed a very long time. Sold these for $24 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Chevy truck snapback mesh hat. I believe I picked this up at a garage sale and a little dirty from storage. Just make sure you disclose any issues with the item in the description. Sold this for $18 plus the buyer paid shipping. This is a brand that I had never heard of. And whenever I see brands that I've never heard of, I look them up. And I was just absolutely shocked by this one. This is Lucy Isaacs, I think is how you say it. And the comps on this were really, really good. I sold this for $135 plus shipping and it sold really fast. Um, it's a locket. Uh, it's got a locket. Let me just show you the pictures here. But just a really simple, unexpected bolo. $135 for that one. And the bottom piece is a locket, but it has all these little charms on it. How cool is that? And here is your tag. Never would have expected that. Never would have expected it. If I would have been doing an untangling um, on whatnot, because I will take a bag and I will dump it out and I will do an untangling and it's called grab and sell. And I do this on whatnot. If I would have pulled this out, I would have held up the tag and said, I've never heard of this. And I would have started the item at $5. And somebody probably would have got an amazing deal on this item because I don't know the brand. And on whatnot, that's what I do a lot is just have untanglings grab and sell style. So if you're not following me on whatnot, definitely come on over. There's a link down below. You can get $15 to shop um, when you join with my referral link. And Whatnot is a great place to source. Buffalo jeans. Again, another item that I've had listed for a very long time. I'm going to say it's on the carpet. So over five years. Sold these for $25, probably paid $3 um, for those. Maybe five. I usually didn't pay any more than five for my clothing items, unless it was TJ Maxx yellow tag. A lot of times then I would pay a little bit more. This is a basketball championship shootout tabletop game. And I believe this came out of a thrift store mystery box, a toy box. And I sold this for $15 on Poshmark. This is a Poshmark video. David's bridal plus size 26 Gava new with tags dress. This one I was so excited about. So you've probably heard this story before if you've been watching me for a while. Um, I did a little retail arbitrage on websites for a while. So I would go to like Lane Bryant. I would go to Catherine's, a lot of the plus size websites. And I would look for coupons and I would wait until they had sales and I would get things really, really cheap. Well, there was a point in time where I tried David's Bridal. And I got these dresses anywhere between $5 and $20. Um, and then I would divide it out by my total and I would come up with like an average price point on a lot of them. And many of them sold very quickly and I made nice profits on those. But these are now discontinued styles. So anybody that's having like a bridal or getting married and they want their bridesmaids to have all the same dresses... Those dresses are current, all right? These dresses are no longer current. So these are discontinued styles. Now, if you have a bride that says, you can get any dress you want, I just want it in the color Gava, this would be great because this dress probably retails for $125 to $150 and they're gonna get it for 50 bucks. So that's great for that person. These dresses are also great for prom and homecoming. I have a whole bunch still listed, but... I am slowly but surely selling these, but this one sold for 50. So I was thrilled with that sale and the buyer paid shipping. And a lot of the ones I bought are plus size. So if you're looking for a homecoming dress or a prom dress, check me out. I got lots. I have plus size and I have smaller sizes as well. 
these Lincoln logs. Um, I can't remember where I got these. These might have come from a toy box, uh, mystery toy box from the thrift store. There's 73 of them here. They are vintage. And I sold these for a best offer of, I'm sorry, for $30. I don't know if it was the best offer or not. $30. I do send out offers on Poshmark. I send out offers on all platforms that I sell on. I think it's a really important tool to utilize um, sending out offers. It generates sales. I also accept a lot of offers. Uh, I have a tendency to price my items a little bit on the higher end of comps and then send out offers and accept offers when they come in. So there's different business models. Let me know what your business model is. Let me know if you're selling on Poshmark. If you're not, I do have a referral link down below. You can get $10 to shop if you use that to join. So check it out. And again, let me know what your experience is with Poshmark. And everybody can go down and check out what everybody's saying about Poshmark. Do you sell clothing only? Do you sell hard goods? What's your take on it? All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.